Hey guys, Ryan here. Quick tutorial time. Um, I've got this requested several times before. I've never taken care of it. Uh, I've been lazy. Um, but next tutorial is Franken spriting. That's the term they use in the Mugen community. Honestly, I just think it's just adding sprites. I mean, I'm not going to use a technical term for it. You know, you just copy and paste things together. So, this here is a sprite sheet of Ace from One Piece. And uh, more or less, I'm going to show you how to Franken sprite a air block. Now, I've looked through his sheet here a little bit, and I don't see any air blocks. Uh, I see explosions, moves, attacks, explosions, attack, explosions, attack, explosions, a backflip, attack, explosions, etc. Right? But there is no air blocking. Now, for a character that has a jump attack, well, yeah, jumping moves and jumping attacks, they have to air block. So, what do we do? We take one of the basic jump sprites. Actually, those aren't the basic ones. The basic ones are much higher up. Okay, so. Sorry, forget what I just said. You take the two block sprites. These two right here. I'll start off with this one. Arms across to him. Like that. And now we need one of the legs from the air. However, since he has better looking legs for something else, this looks like an item. He's grabbing an item, running with it, and like he throws it. But, um. So yeah, I want to take this leg instead. Because this is okay, but it's pretty generic. Jumping straight up and blocking, no one really does that. This one shows more of like an angle, an actual like uh, feeling to what he's doing, you know. So this is what I'm going to use. Now, the Franken sprite, sprite the Franken sprite. We need to put these two images together. The easiest way to do that is simply by removing pieces of his body from each set of sprites. Like, see this? All this is now is his legs and his belt. Now, see this is upper body. We need to get rid of his legs. And his, uh, uh, what is that? A dagger sword thing? Yeah. And that. And now, when you bring them close together, you see it looks like it'll fit, you know, perfect and great. But the one little thing you have to, uh, you might overlook is that his belt is still on the top sprite, whereas it's not, it's, it's already one in the bottom sprite. So we gotta, we have to exaggerate his body to make it work and look right. So I'll take some orange and some of this. Because basically, Ace is a muscular dude, so we have to imagine that we're drawing some abs on him, which is what this is. Now, I've already gone ahead and did this already here, but this one looks better. You know what? I think I'll do it here too. There, and it looks like. Eh, whatever. I won't do that. Anyways, yeah. So, basically, you take the two sprites that you've franken sprited, you know, you clear out the upper body, clear out the waist. Um, to me, this works best in paint because paint has a fancy little uh, transparency uh, feature. So, you put, paste the image in paint, you use the ink dropper tool to get the first and second color, make the whole thing one color so it's easy to work with. Go to select, go to transparent selection. In the older version of Windows, I don't know what it's called, but there's two options when you pick select, there's two options that appear here on the side. Um, let me see if I can get that for you, actually. Yeah, using the nice convenience of the internet. Older version of paint. Perfect. Image right here. See this image? This is the transparency selection tool in the old Microsoft Paint. So first you select the selection tool, then you hit this option. Then whatever color is your second color, this one right here, is going to be transparent. So, in this case, if we click this option, the white is going to be transparent. And since the image is white, you won't really see much of a difference. However, in this case, since the image is uh, teal, whatever color this is, and we have the transparency on, we can easily just select him here and drag around. Look at that. See? He goes directly on the body. No issue. However, if we did not pick the transparent selection, it would be like this. See, he kind of eats up the whole body and covers it, which we don't want. Now, to make this look right, we need to move the legs, actually, because the legs are what's in front. And see how that looks? Uh, that's kind of a hard choice between this one and this one. But I'll, I'll go with this one. It looks better. So I'll copy this, paste it back in iDraw. That's the problem I like to use. And bada-bing, bada-boom, you've got yourself a franken sprite air block. Not bad, huh? Let me just alter some of the details here. I guess I will do it like that. Yeah. Alright, so that's air block. 
Now, he has two frames for blocking technically, so we're gonna do that. This is the other frame for blocking. Cut. Pasta. Okay. Next, we need other legs. This one looks pretty good here, also. This is gonna be a bit more difficult to do because of his hand that's here. As Malonga. Now, see, I'm doing this strictly because it looks like it doesn't belong there, so once I get the legs I'm safe, but that dagger throws me off a little bit there. I think that looks good. Okay, so that's that. Next we remove his belt, leave his hand intact, the outline around his hand, leave that intact as well. Uh, okay, so then I'll copy, paste it in paint, move this over. Now let's see, how can I do this? Um, transparent is on. Let's see this. It doesn't look too natural, does it? Before I do that, I'll copy and paste and make another one. Always make sure you have a copy of your original so in case you mess up, you can always uh, undo or fix it. I guess that does look kind of okay, right? Yeah, it'll work for air block, I guess. Okay, there, all together. So, air block. Now, that's that's more or less how you Franken sprite. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. You just take two images, clean out the top, clean out the bottom, combine them, and that's it. Um, I don't think I'll need to add anything else on his sprite sheet. But I guess for someone who, or like, someone asked me this a while ago, they wanted to take the arm of Ryu and uh, put it on another part of Ryu to make a new stance. So I'll do something similar. Okay, I'll take this and this, and I'll combine them so it looks like he'll, he's doing some crazy attack that I can't even think of. Anyway, so we get rid of his head. We get rid of the necklace, and we have this arm alone. Take this and we remove his arm, leave his head intact. Now, it's gonna look stupid by the way. On iDraw, you can't do the whole thing because it heats up like that, so we gotta copy it, paste it back in paint. I don't know what I'm thinking when I'm doing this honestly, but let's hope it looks okay ish. Make the whole arm, take it. Wow, it actually looks like it fits there. And there you go, Franken Sprite. I'm not sure what he's doing, but he's doing something, right? And that's the point. He's doing something. Yeah! So, thanks for watching. Um, I've been busy doing this and that elsewhere. Um, I will make other tutorials in the future. Stay tuned. Thanks to all my subscribers. Uh, I think it's amazing how I jumped from 42 subscribers to 80 in like two weeks. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so, thanks. Uh, stay tuned for more and good night.